So, Bill, I just want to quickly thank you for coming on the podcast. Do you want to quickly introduce yourself? Yeah. So I'm William Cusick. I go by Bill, Bill Cusick. I am the creative director for Stability AI. Um, I joined the company this year. I've spent the last 20 years making films, designing videos, animating, and the better part of the last decade also teaching film and editing and animating uh, and all those things. Um, and I, I came to Stability after about a year of working with AI tools. I started with like AI audio, specifically working with, you know, training models on in my own music and then got into image uh, generation using uh, some of the NVIDIA tools, the, the multimodal uh, canvas tool where you could sort of draw segments and then get images from it. Um, and then I quickly got into text to image with Disco Diffusion and uh, Mid Journey, Dolly, and of course, uh, Stable Diffusion. So I've been with um, Stability uh, since August. Uh, I started working with them back in July. So about ha almost half a year now, yeah. Yeah, time flies. I, I guess just to start things out, like how much have things changed since you started in July? Or oh, good question, yeah. It, it's interesting because the question of like how much do things change is always that like adage, like the more they change, the more they stay the same, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think what's amazing is this concept of time scale. Um, I was recently introduced to this idea of, um, you know, depending on when you, you know, understand or grow, sort of grow up and understand time, uh, you have a basis for how much uh, evolves in that period of time, like the technological uh, you know, evolution of things, right? And so in the future from now, it's like, you know, in 20 years from now, you know, there'll be one year of technological advancements won't take a year you know it'll take a few few months it'll take like three months right and at 40 years from now a whole year of technological advancements will take like 11 days right so so if i go back if i think that okay 40 years ago right and growing up in the 80s like if that's when i understand time right if that's how much i understand time right so now it's 40 years later so i'm living through a year of technological advancements every 11 days is like kind of the yeah, right. <laughs> everything is markers. So if you spend a year on the couch, you're like, nothing really happened this year. But if you're fighting off, let's say, alien invasions and <laughs> hitting some milestones, um, you know, every day is one of those big achievements. The time scale thing is like, I feel like the last six months have been the better part of 10 to 11 years. You know, it's like the amount of advancements we've seen five, six months is just un unprecedented. Um, and at the same time, it's like absolutely precedented. It just hasn't happened in the AI field the way it has, right? So, so it's happened in other fields, like camera fields and different technological fields, but we're at a, a this sort of Cambrian explosion right now in AI. So I think the biggest thing that's changed is, is the number of people using it. I think that's the most important thing that's changed. Uh, I think there are more people using AI than when I started and I think that is the best possible trend. AI is one of those, first of all, very misunderstood. I, I was in LA on the weekend and I was meeting my assistant. Yeah, it's just like listening to people's conversations while I was uh, sitting around waiting and some people talking about AI and when it's gonna become sentient, sentient and all these other conversations going on. And it's just kind of like, you know, it's just very interesting to see people's different perceptions on, on artificial intelligence. But it is, as you mentioned, like, one of those things, if you look at those markers, there's been, you know, from 20, sorry, from 1950 to 1970, there were a few big markers there, then it starts to slow down again and then pick up. 2011 with neural networks is where things started to really exponentially pick up. But literally 2020 to 2022, that is where 95% or 98% of the markers have really happened. Whether it's Whisper AI, whether it's, the, it's GPT-3 being a very fundamental part of this, like all these different, um, you know, major shifts and they're happening all now and they're getting quicker, faster, more powerful. And you being involved in um, Stable Diffusion, that's obviously where it must be really exciting to see all of this happening around you. Yeah, I, I think the to your point of like the last two years, right, is like all the all of like the real like amazing advancements, right? The last two years. But the last 40 years is how we understand it, like narratively, right? Like we, st I still have people comment on stuff where they're like very lawnmower man, you know? And it's like, it's like the most sort of like up to date, like recent 
cultural zeitgeisty references people have for new tech it's like ready player one and it's like that's the most contemporary like tech narrative right um so i'm really looking forward to like new tech narratives also like i'm, I'm definitely living in one and part of me is like looking forward to writing the memoir in like 20 years of like what this was like um but at the same time i want to see more like sci-fi movies that are that are actually like even more contemporary and thinking around ai beyond like AGI, little things that, that are huge, where it's like we've solved in painting on border edges for animation so that it can replicate those 10 pixels from the last frame to the next frame using the camera depth of two frames earlier to calculate the future camera depth. Oh, it's amazing. Like that kind of stuff is like, like we lose our minds over it. You know, like the majority of people would be like, I'm sorry, in painting what? What depth stuff? What's Midas? Like who, what, you know? And I think that there's a level of like advancements that, that we see on a daily basis that are Im imperceptible by design to any end user, because it's part of the, like, it's part of the mountain climb, you know, it's like, it's, it's one of the 10,000 steps to like, get us, you know, to where everyone can see us. So it, it is exciting. I mean, I think the, the, the thing that is most interesting is working in this field where it's engineers and developers who are uh, deeply connected to art making. <laughs> so, so it's like at the end of the day, end of the work day, it's sort of like, okay, done with the work day. Now I'm going to animate with the tools I've just been building. <laughs> so like, you know, days off weekends are spent experimenting with the stuff that we're building as opposed to like, you know, like time to leave the shop. I'm gonna leave That's this right. work behind. It's more like I'm gonna turn from this computer. I'm gonna go to that computer, and I'm gonna keep working. You know, 